What is up everybody? Dr. GTA coming to you with an ELS version 7 install video. Basically, if you want to get ELS version 7, go to the link in the description first off, lcpdfr.com, and you're going to go there. You're going to go download ELS version 7. It's right on the main page. It should be. The link, the direct link is in the description, by the way, if you missed it. You can click the download button. You obviously got to go download it. So once you get that downloaded, you're going to go ahead and um, you're going to open it up. It's going to have uh, three files in it. The third one's the media, which is just pictures of how it looks in game. Installation and documentation. Documentation, we'll go over that in a second, but we're first going to go over how um, to install. First, you're just going to go and you want to make sure you install this before you install ENB if you're using an ENB. I would recommend grabbing all this and copying it. Um, and you're basically just going to go over to your Rockstar Games directory and you're going to go Program Files, Rockstar Games, go into your GTA 4 folder where everything's at, where it's going to have Common at the very top and it should have um, S, uh, it should have License or Readme or something like that on the very bottom. And then you're just going to go and you're going to copy this and drag it over to this and it's going to copy and overwrite and let it overwrite if it does. That's what you're supposed to do, and that's the first thing you're going to do. And then that's pretty much how you install it. Um, I would recommend reading these. These are the things you need. Um, I'm going to go through this real quick just to get this on so you guys can get going and playing. Requirements. You're going to need Microsoft Visual C++ 2010. You can get it at this link. It's, this is in the ELS User Guide PDF. And you're going to need v Visual Setting C++ Redistributable. Visual Studio 2012 Update 4 and um, that's pretty much what you're going to need. You're also going to need ELS version vehicles. You can find those at lcpdfr.com. There's tons of vehicles you can find on there. Make sure they say ELS version 8 if you want them to be directly compatible with ELS. Now other than that, um, that's pretty much what you need to get, the, get it running and then after that install your ENB if you use an ENB over that. And if you have custom ENB bloom settings for your lights, if you're having problems with the lights looking good, you might want to either use the custom ELS lights with the um, uh, ELS, which is in the installation, which is going to be in common data visual settings. That's the one that's already auto installed. Um, but if you do have a visual settings that's custom made for ELS, go ahead and use it. Cry ENB has that, and I recommend using Cry ENB version 1, which is the latest version of that, and it's really nice to use. Other than that, um, you're pretty much done. Um, we'll go over configs and everything in another video. After that, um, what you're going to do is we're going to go through and we're going to show you um, basically the controls in a video on how it looks in game. And pretty much that is all I have to wrap it up. Now here's the in-game footage, and I'm gonna show you everything you need to do in-game. So basically this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna push, hold down Control and push M. It's gonna bring up the menu, which is gonna always get you in and out of the menu. Yes. So Control M opens and closes the menu. You have to hold down Control and push M. Then from there, if you wanna get your siren on, you can always push G hold it and down to do the horn or Y to do the horn. If you want to turn your siren on immediately without your lights, you have to hold down one. Actually, no, you can't do that. My bad. I'm sorry. Well, you can't do that anyway. And basically, you want to turn on their stage three, This is which is basically realistic like real police. What you're going to do is J one time. That'll turn on sequential lights, which are the back lights that you use for caution whenever there's traffic behind you. You'll push it stage two, which will show your wig wags which are the the um, kind of the kind of sort of like a wigwag type um, thing but they, it's it's set for uh, primaries which are your secondary kind of wigwag for front and back and you can turn those off as well by pushing K to turn on off your sequentials see they go off while this is going on and then you can push J again turns on your full lights so three times J will turn on your full lights and then you can turn on your siren by pushing G and you can change sirens by pushing one, two, three, and four. And that's pretty much what changes it. G to turn it off again. Um, and then from there you can turn off specific lights or you can just turn off all of them by pushing J one more time entirely. One, two, three. One, one, two, three. One, one, two, three. Siren on, siren off. And basically 
you can turn off each specific light now. You have all three on. If you push L, it turns off wigwags. If you push L again, it turns them back on. You push primary, I mean you push K, it turns off sequentials. Turns them back on. Then you push, you know, primary, it turns them all off. So basically if you want to turn on, you know, you can pretty much do anything you want there. Uh, another cool feature too is um, you can push the open bracket, which will turn on steady burn mode. Whenever you've got a car pulled over, you can always do steady burn. Like when typical cops pull people over, they do steady burn, and then they do the close bracket, which turns on the takedown lights to shoot them on the car, which is cool too. Um, you push uh, close bracket to turn off the takedowns and turn them on, and you push open bracket to turn on and off the steady burns. And you can hold alt and push open bracket to uh, turn on this mode inside the car which you can't really see because it's daytime but what it does is it um, it turns on like a fire burning light so if you're on blackout mode at night which I will go over and do that as well at night what it does is you can push this mode and it's on right now now when I open the door you'll see a red or you'll see a light oh I'm sorry did it wrong see there's blackout mode that's when it's really dark outside which is alt close bracket and you can turn on that which is a red light you have to have the red light enabled I'm not sure why my car doesn't um, but it did have it enabled earlier let's try this car real quick just to show you get you a flavor taste of it I'm not sure why it's not doing it but um, it's pretty cool though and then also if you want to change your lights patterns you can push U to change them up and it goes up the numbers for like say J you want to change J you'll push U accordingly if you want to change K on and off you push I accordingly to change it and if you want to push L which is wigwags you push O accordingly to change it if you want to go to back to number one and you're going to go down on the number pad you want to hold alt and push O or alt and push I or alt and push U etc etc that's pretty much all I have to say um, on this video other than that have fun and the best thing about this is check this out The car's damaged now, and I'm not sure how they fixed that, but thank God they fixed it. We have damaging cars, and I love it. And it's so realistic, and thanks to Lieutenant Kane, um, Sam, Nikolai B, um, BX Bugs, PFC Barefoot, no, my bad, wrong person. Um, ugh, I forgot your name. I'm sorry, I forgot your name. I'm subscribed to you on YouTube. Um... Um, it starts with a P. Police Wag. Yep, thank you. And um, there's another person too I know I'm uh, forgetting, but thank you guys too if I'm forgetting you. Um, I love this mod. I will be playing soon. We'll be doing more clan activities. We're just waiting for GTA 5 to come out. And as soon as it does for PC, we're going to probably convert this over there. Um, any other questions, just relay it to me in the comments. Like this video if you liked it. Um, share it if you want to see more. Um, dislike it if you didn't like it. Tell me what you think. Also, I have the links in the description for the graphics, for um, for how my vehicles look good, and uh, for ELS version 8, and the scripts, and if you want this little menu, the trainer, to pop up, you can um, click the link in the description, it'll take you to that as well. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I will see you next time. This is Sergeant Wade signing out.